Hi, my name is Aptar and this is my review of the Kotex Solar Motion Light. So let's get started. Okay, before I tell you what comes inside the box, I want to tell you why I wanted to do this review. I definitely find alternative energy fascinating because I find it cool that devices can create their own power without having any other external power provided for them. I really find it fascinating that the sun can give you power. Plants do it with photosynthesis, so why can't our devices? I definitely want to see more devices with solar panels and different forms of alternative energy. So that's why I wanted to do this review. But you inside the box is a solar motion light, a user's manual. I did use this user's manual because it gave me some information about how the device works and how it operates. You also get two extension pillar hinges and two screws. Some of the important specifications of the solar motion light, it has a solar panel which is 0.55 watt, 17% efficiency. It has a 3.7 volt, 100 milliamp hour lithium ion battery. It has 16 LEDs with a lifespan of 50,000 hours. It outputs 100 lumens worth of light. It has a built-in sensor to detect if it's night or day. The battery takes 8 hours to charge. Okay, let me go over the design. On top of the motion light, we have the solar panel. Beneath it, we have the 16 LEDs, which are protected by a plastic cover. The plastic cover also spreads light evenly. Towards the front of the device, we have the motion detector. This device also has a nice design because it is made of steel. And the plastic is being covered by the steel, so when it rains, it does not touch the plastic. Once you screw this device into a structure, it is very sturdy. This device has two modes, a dim mode and bright light mode. The dim mode will automatically come on once it's night. Bright light mode will activate if you get within 2 meters of the device, or 6 feet. Well, depending on how high you place the device, in my case, I have to get within 3 feet to get the bright light mode to activate. Bright light mode will switch off and go back to dim mode within 30 seconds unless it sees more motion. Okay, let me go over the cons and pros. The only con I have is I have to get within 3 feet of the device for it to be in bright light mode. I don't know if it depends on how high you place the device. That is the only con I have. Okay, let me go over the pros. The biggest pro I have is its price. It is very affordable for an outdoor light. Plus, there is no need for batteries, power from your house, or anything like that. It's a self-unit, meaning it will provide its own power for free for 5 years. I don't know if it'll last 5 years. I'm guessing 3 years. But that is a very, very long time for the amount of money you're paying for this device. Uh, I've used this for 10 days. Not one day it hasn't worked. It definitely works. It works in the rain. It's rained and nothing. The rain does not affect this device. I think it has a weatherproof coating on top of it. So it doesn't affect the solar panel. It also does provide a good amount of light. And it is also easy to mount. It is also easy to use. All you have to do is use the provided pin and hit the on button. You should hear a click. I definitely recommend this device. I give it a 5 out of 5. Thank you for watching. If you would like to buy this device, links in the description below will help me out. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, share. And I'm also on Twitter. Please follow me at AppsarKing1. Thanks again.